You know, we talk a lot about the nature of reality, and we human beings, we are a curious bunch, right? We want to like look up God's skirt. And increasingly, you know, through either our understanding of quantum mechanics and all kinds of new exotic technologies that are allowing us to peer at the primary building blocks of matter for whatever reason, we're starting to find some really weird stuff, you know? Buckminster Fuller perhaps had it right when he said, God is a verb. You know, there's an amazing, amazing article by Kevin Kelly called The Fifth and Sixth Discontinuities, where he essentially talks about a series of discontinuities that have transformed the context within which we understand ourselves in the world, right? So we used to think the Earth was flat. We used to think the Earth was the center of the universe. We used to think, you know, all these like erroneous consensus realities that we had agreed upon that were smashed by science, transforming the way we understood ourselves. We used to think we were separate from the other animals, and then we realized that we were descended from apes, you know? And, and then it just keeps getting weirder and weirder, because now we're at the point that through quantum physics, through things like nanotechnology, what we're starting to understand is that at the most primary level, reality, matter, actually seems like it's made up of information. Okay, like John Archibald Wheeler, the quantum physicist, used to say that it comes from bit. Okay, bits as in bits of computer data, like data comes before matter. Description precedes itness, right? The verbs are verbing all by themselves without a need to introduce nouns, I believe was the quote. This idea that matter acts but there are no actors acting upon the action. The verbs are verbing all by themselves without a need to introduce nouns. Everything is signal. Everything is information. Perhaps there lies the mystery of consciousness, you know? But I just think it's a fascinating idea. <laughs>